Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Fresh Bars Friday, man. Let's go episode number seven. You already know, man. They keep it locked at the song. Nisha flows, ungane na my stars Fresh bars, Friday wanga moto kila saa Flows, punchlines, metaphors, delivery Fresh bars, tuko nazo in store kama granary This another Friday, tuko lit kama holiday Only the best rep in the region like every day We heavy in every way Fresh bars, Friday ni mbiji as jadikei So as we all know, record labels are not very popular in this part of the world. Uh, it's not even about popularity, they are not big business, yani, but they just poor. So most artists who end up yani, being independent artists, you know, taking the independent route and trying to figure out their career on their own. Yani. So unapata most times our artists wanafanya evil out of necessity, see because I'm a I'm a quite independent artist. So today we are going to be discussing benefits of being an independent artist kuna guests moja mbili wenye watatuambia about it yani so keep it locked right there mzee at least to scare insights kutoka kwao you already know fbf fresh bars friday pana songa my brother you already know mzee welcome so mzee eh mzee nipenda kwanza uanze na kutambulisha mzee kuambia majina zako at least watu who who they dealing with ama ni aje kwa majina ni bernard nag Yeah. So Mr. Bernard, you can give and at least to Julisha my fans who are talking about the gun, you can say that you represent the place Kadha. So let them know, man, now is your chance. I'm going to talk to Rongai. I'm going to talk to Embu. So Embu is the one who is here, but Rongai is the one who is here. And they are what we represent. Inadi, man. Coming out of Rongai. One, two, five. Ningependa kujulisha ma fans manze kwa uko na any project out there nye at least una feel wanaweza check out na pia wanaweza zipata wapi yani in terms of projects yeah projects kuna uh, zisko out kuna album we do from way back i think yeah, it was 2014 album inaweza patikana bado physical copies ziko uh, textbook centers Nairobi then tuko na mixtape na wase wasani wengine wa flag 42 kina point blank kama nani phones nini pia hiyo inapatikana physical copy na iko uh, Sarit Center the Hedge of Creative so Mr Benadi Nadi manze na joko na kasaid hustle flani hapo nataka waambie ma fans juu yake manze besides music uh, in terms of side hustle na nini kuna kitu inaitwa muziki track muziki track is an internet internet based solution ina monitor plays zenye wasanii wamekuwa nazo on radio na inaweza kukupatia analytical information na logs zenye zitakuambia ngoma yako ilichezwa saa ngapi station gani na mara ngapi yeah so ni system ambayo it is a free system msanii yote akitaka ku log in anaenda tu mzikitrack.com track imeandikwa with a k hakuna ile ck .com ukiingia ndani kuna website unaweza upload muziki yako we mwenyewe for it to be monitored unanishika now how it works ni ati at after a certain period of time wewe unaweza kuja tukupatia hiyo information ama tunaweza ku email ama unaweza kupata notification ya ngoma yako ilichezwa kwa stations gani na nini na nini na hiyo inaweza kukusaidia kwenda ku claim royalty payment na pia inaweza kukusaidia kujua ni ngoma yako gani ina do well kwa stations gani nini so it works for for publishers and also artists very nice so bros na joku tia this is africa man say my label has gone angi sana so artist wengi wanajipata yani out of the situation wana kwa independent artist mingi pendo kwa bia ya opinion yani what's the benefit or benefits of being an independent artist yani sana sana huko africa one wewe mwenyewe ukijita independent lazima uko na una unaelewa ina maanisha nini ndio uanze kupata sasa faida faida ina maanisha you get to own all your all your copyrights one unanishika even not all at the full percentage unaweza amua wewe ndio uko na ability ya kuamua a certain percentage in, itaenda kwa kwa hawa na hawa na hawa 
including royalties na kila kitu secondly being independent na, na you get to decide what you really want to do as an artist in terms of composition and which is which is which is i think ni kitu poa kwa sababu inafanya msanii anakuwa in terms of crea- creative asi asi tupatie bullshit yenye amepatiwa na mtu mwingine so bro najua uko na party shop flani ni ungependa wale mafanzo wako ama mapishi ya mafamili ya ma industry ya mafolds at least what you about to go down in our chats bro party shop yangu ni kwa wale watu wote wanaohusiana stakeholders wa muziki na nini let us focus on quality sasa let us focus on quality sina mambo mengi ya kusema hiyo ndio parting shot yangu quality ya muziki bibi bro manze eh, of course mimi nakujua manze young homie leo brother but the fans don't know you man labda ujitambulishe at least wambe majina zako so artist name yangu ni Charlie Slam boy Slam boy ju me Slam boy the world is a ghetto So Charlie Slam boy you already know man then given to come be man at least to you yani unatokea mta gani bro so unatoka line 7 line 7 iko pale bila katikati eh lakini pia mmelelewa nyalenda iko kisumu lake side asia so slam boy man then of course tunatoka the same road man everybody knows now eh kibera number 8 line 7 man is a big place But other than that man zingi taka at least tulisha mafans wetu if you have any projects out there and at least one design our check out what you what you all about man zela pia mali wanaweza zipata say say ni kuna two projects out kuna moja inaitwa Sifugezi big up kafi tumefanya na kafi unaweza ipata iTunes Spotify iko YouTube yet we have no video but a video in account yeah. and then kuna Slam Life in project yangu ya kwanza featuring Big J iko kwa EP yangu ina come next year pia. So I've been working na nafaa to relax stuff. Okay. Oh Charlie Slam boy manze leo tuko na topic flani tunajaribu ku handle manze. Unajua huko Africa ma record label as kwangi very big yani. It's not big business yani. So especially more so in Kenya yani. Nipata. So tunajaribu ku find out the benefits of being an independent artist because most of the time unajipata wewe ni an independent artist out of necessity ndio so benefits za hiyo kwa maoni yako in your own words unaona ni kama gani na gani kitu poa kitu beneficial about this stuff ni you just have control of your issue unajua hakuna msa atakwambia do this do that and then pia 100% profit unajua that's what's up that's what's up in ile segment yenye msa na party ana party shot yani so if you have anything that is close to heart yani feel is important that you need to share with your fans or friends or colleagues or the industry at large yani now is your chance man but in short yango man zeni slum slum boys slum life slum girls so just slum children kila msema man zetu grind hard man ze to work kutoka hapo man ze kwenda some other days to expand this stuff pop culture and whatever unaweza fanya man ze to get out there man ze to see see lalish i see let's get it slum life So what's up my brother man? Welcome to Kenya. I'm sure it's it's a lot of fans out here that are trying to, you know, trying to figure out who's this light skin dude, you know. Uh, my name is Mazi. The crew is Soul Purpose. So everywhere I roll, it's always Mazi and Soul Purpose. Even if I'm alone, you know what I'm saying? Cuz whoever is involved in the development of my music or my movement, they're automatically part of the crew. So you're automatically in my group whether you like it or not. Soul Purpose. All right? and it's s dot o dot u dot l dot purpose sense of understanding life's purpose wow yeah so i'm never alone i'm always with crew you know what i mean that's what's up that's always what's with up. family mazi man so where do you hail from bro what's what's the hood what's the ghetto man uh, i hail out of new york city um but you know i'm universal i travel the world as much as i can um and you know i just feel like wherever you from as an artist try to get out and really touch people and deal with people in other countries and in other regions so yeah man i love doing that 
which projects do you think that the Kenyan fans or your fans in Africa, you know, can go check out and just get a rough idea of who Mazi is and if there's also any project that's close to heart that you think they should check out, now is your chance to let them know, bro. All right, so I'm on my 10th project now. It's called Soul Broke Forever. And I did it with my boy Tak uh, from Dubai. I went out there and recorded it. And um, that's out now, it's about five joints. It's a small little EP. Um, before that, I put out an album that I'm very proud of. Uh, I did it in South Africa and I did it with South African artists and um, it's called The Check-In and it's 50% of the beats came from the US, 50% from, from South Africa and then we got some artists from the US but mostly it's just me and then the South African artists so it came out real dope man, such a, such a soulful body of work, you know what I mean? And then one of my personal favorites which was about four, four five albums ago is called The Building and I feel just personally that's one of my strongest pieces of work. Um, and yeah, check those out. And then, you know, worst case scenario, they can't find it or they don't have the means to get it. Yeah. Just hit me on Instagram and then I'll, you know, I'll make sure y'all get it. So what's your handle? It's Mazi, I-T-S-M-A-Z-Z-I. I-T-S-M-A-Z-Z-I. That's how y'all get it. Yeah, that's that Kenya. So, bro, you know, in Africa, uh, record labels are not that big, you know, so I'd like to think like most African artists are indie artists, like independent So what advice do you have for the upcoming or the established independent African artist who's trying to get his music out there, you know? Statistically, um, it's easier to make the NBA than to get on a, a major label. So do the math. So I think everybody should roll, unless you somehow right away get a major left record deal, you know what I'm saying? But everybody should roll with the indie mentality. And what does that mean? That means you might have to wear a lot of hats. You might have to educate yourself. Your, uh, your, your career might be a slower burn, you know what I'm saying? But it'll be a solid burn. and It'll be a, a, a healthy and strong and learned movement going forward step by step. And a lot of times indie artists have longer careers, you know? So um, it's just about self, uh, being self-contained, self-empowerment, you know what I mean? I believe in that, because that way you, it's like if you have a freight train and you're putting coal, you know the old school freight trains, where they put coal in the fire for it to move? That's what you're doing, you know what I mean? And you constantly are investing into your own self and your own brand and your own, you know, projects. So you keep doing that. So the faster your straight, uh, freight train goes, then the majors will, 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 will uh, notice that. And then they'll come to you. But let's say they don't. Let's say they don't, because like we said, the statistically it's hard. But that means your freight train's still going though. Yeah, right? Moving. So it's, it's a win-win. Now you have to understand that sometimes you might have to get a job to fund your career. And you can't just be a rapper, that's it. You have to make money because you have to invest, you know what I'm saying, to make your shit really go and pop. And still it's, it's a dice roll. So it's, I, I suggest when it comes to being an indie artist, strategize, learn, 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 research, research, research. Have a strong team around you because it's tough doing it alone, trust me. And then invest money in yourself. This is granted the music's dope. Now, if the music's whacked, then I can't help you, you know what I mean? It don't matter. It don't matter what you do. So I did a little research and I found out that you give your music away for free. Like all your albums, like all the proceeds from your albums, they go to charity. So I don't understand, man, because you know most hip-hop artists, man, they, they about that dollar, they about that shilling. So why in the hell would you put on, like, would you put in so much work and, you know, just not enjoy the fruits of your labor and just dish it all out to charity, man? I'd like to know where your mind's at. I really don't understand, man. <laughs> yeah. I came from humble beginnings. I didn't come from a rich family. I, I grew up, you know, in the hood like a lot of people. I grew up not with not a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, 
somewhere where I consider a hood, you might not consider a hood, vice versa. So let's just say humble beginnings, you know what I'm saying? We, I didn't have money, I grew up broke. So um, in my neighborhoods, I saw a lot of things that were fucked up, that were messed up, that have either affected me or affected family members or affected friends or just affected my neighborhood and environment as a whole, right? So I always try to be proactive in, in, in social awareness and, and community and, and things of that nature and giving back. So uh, one reason is like, I didn't want to wait till when and if I get rich through music or through any means to, to give back. Why not give back on the way up? Because it can be done. And then two, um, we're all given a talent. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a talent. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a, I'm not a soldier. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a musician. So if I could use that God-given talent that I've worked so hard to hone, it's my duty to give back. You know what I'm saying? It's not even, to me, it's not even a choice at this point. It's, it's what gives me vigor and life into my, into my music. It breathes life, life into my music. And you know, it was a time where I did charity stuff, but didn't give money. I was, you know, doing reg, reg, quote unquote regular artist does. But then, you know, you, 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 it gets lackluster sometimes, you get tired of the, the rat race. So I was like, look, I'm gonna switch my whole shit. I'm gonna be over here. No, no offense to anybody else. You guys are probably doing other things in life way better than me, and I need to learn from you. But when it comes to this, I'm doing this, I'm over here. It's, what I do is for charity, what I do is for, for you know, social improvement and awareness. Um, and you know, I've traveled 45 countries plus doing that and working with kids, working with organizations. I don't, I don't really deal with corporations. If I wanna deal with a charity or, 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 or a thing to help, I go on the ground, I sit with the people and I hand them the money or hand them the assistance right there. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, that's just my mo, man. Like, it, like I said, it really breathed life back into my into my career. I'd really like to know, uh, and the fans would too. Uh, what projects are you working on in the country? Um, and if there's any projects that you've been working on around the world with different artists, and uh, most importantly, uh, why you're doing those projects? I came here in August and uh, I was part of the Mad Madaraka Festival in Kisumu and shout out to Simon, uh, One Vibe Africa. So we did the, we did the um, festival and the money from the festival was gonna go to the uh, One Vibe, I think, Youth Center, that's what it's called. So after the, after the festival was over, all the artists, including myself, we went into the uh, Youth Center and they had a studio. So we, we knew this already, we, we had planned it. So we stayed an extra three days and recorded an EP there. So there were kids that performed at the festival that were also on the EP. So that was dope. We got the kids involved, the local kids, um, beautiful voices and real talented. And actually the producer was from there too. And then um, the artists that were at the festival. So Ben Soul, uh, Karun, Nazizi, Nafsi Huru. Yeah, so they all got on it. Um, and then, yeah, we did like five joints, and then I came back to Nairobi, and I still wanted to knock out one more joint. So I got with uh, Kenyari? Kenyaria. Kenyaria. Yeah. I always fuck up his name. That's Shout out to Kenyaria. That's yeah. my boy right Yeah, here. so I got in the studio with him and my, my man Kanja, and um, we did a joint. We did the last joint. So it came out real dope, and yeah, man, I, we haven't figured out the name yet for yet. The name yet, none of that. So oh, just look out for it. You know what I mean? It's coming up. It's coming up 2020 for sure. God, God willing. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so how's your stay been? Oh, by the way, and then the, the, the proceeds from that are going to go to the One Vibe um, Youth Center in Kisumu. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To uplift the young talents down yeah. there. Yeah, because right? you know, they have dance programs. They have uh, programs for children. They have uh, uh, musician programs, producer pro DJ. They, they do everything there. So Mazi, I realize you're a, a, a man of many hats, man. You wear many hats in this music business. Uh, I, I noticed from your profile that you also do uh, marketing and promotion at Def Jam. Maybe you could tell us a little bit more about that, you know? Yeah, so I do um, uh, radio promotions and lifestyle marketing at Def Jam. I've uh, been there for a long time. Uh, and you know, it really taught me the game. It helped me learn the game further, and uh, I was I was a I was an artist before that, 
uh, putting out records and you know doing the regular level promotions or whatever I could and then getting you know getting a job at Def Jam an actual you know job that has to do with the music business help me put everything in perspective uh, allow me to be less delusional about about certain things and see behind the scenes how things really work um, and applying that to you know to my own craft rather than thinking that I can use that as a channel or a gateway to get a, a deal you know I never that was never my aim working at Def Jam my aim working at Def Jam was to to you know First of all, do something that I love, which is music. I don't, you know, I could have got up and wore a suit and tie and went to some boring job, you know, behind a cubicle or whatever, in a cubicle. Nine to five. Nine to five, yeah, but, you know, I chose to do that path, you know, go down that path and, you know, of course, get paid, get paid less, tougher role. The music industry is really, really tough. Um, and, but I learned, you know, and, 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 it, and it helped me put things in perspective. So I have a marketing promotions and publicity company where we help independent artists also. And um, I mean, we've worked with uh, majors too, but we primarily help independents. And it's called Heads, HDZ. Um, and we're currently uh, fixing up the site to make it even better and more grandioso. So, you know, in the meantime, you can just contact me um, on my socials or you can even email me. Uh, recordbreakerme at gmail.com we'll talk we'll figure it out we'd like to know how your experience in Kenya has been so far like are you liking it so far uh, are, are we nice people uh, have we been nice to you or you know if there's any other thing that's possibly negative or positive that you'd like us to know about yo I mean we're kind of in a rainy season but yeah. the weather I mean I can't complain because New York is freezing right now so so it's the weather's cool um, the people are beautiful, like wonderful people, very kind, uh, very accommodating. Uh, music scene, I mean, you already know, music scene is full of soul, and I, I love, I love shit like that. Like the more, the more soulful a music scene is, it just blossoms the whole society. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. And then um, the food, the food is cool. The food, I like the food. Yeah, the food is high. That's what's up, man. Some garlic. I had that that, that 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 foam. What is that? Like rice, but it's not rice, but it's like foam, but it's like a sponge. It's, it's called ugali. Ugali. Yeah, they have it in ugali. they have it in South Africa too. It's yeah. called something else though. So so it's it's, it's like uh, fluff from corn. It's fluffy. Yeah, it's some fluffy <laughs> shit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, and then there's only I, the only one only one complaint about Kenya. Yeah. The airline. One. Kenyan Air Airways, bro, the worst <laughs> shit on earth, bro. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> what didn't they do? Like that's a whole nother interview, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they we'll stop it there. We gotta bro. stop we, it there, cause I we ain't trying to discredit them dudes. Yeah, but you know, get, yo, it is what it is. Kenyan Airways <laughs> needs to get their step their game up. Yeah. New management, new owner. I don't know, man. They need to do something, yo. <laughs> they are trit ash. So, bro, um, <laughs> this segment. If you have any parting shot that you'd like to, you know, let the fans out there know, let the young artists out there know, let the indie or the grinding artists out there know, now is your chance, man, for that parting shot. Because, you know, your advice being a, 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 a very well-traveled and exposed MC, your advice would mean a lot. So we'd like to know if you have a parting shot. A uh, little piece of advice is, you know, uh, always be a student, always learn. Because, um, you know, the greatest wisdom is to know that we don't even know, even know anything. So uh, that's how I try to go. I try, always try to learn from people younger than me and people older than me. Um, and then, you know, just if you have a talent, um, whatever element of hip hop or this music scene is, just do your research and don't just be patient. It's going to happen. Be patient, learn and keep by trial and error, plotting and strategizing correctly. Don't get overzealous. Don't get too too hype on yourself. It'll work out. It'll work out. Just get your team right. And as far as me, check me out. All right. So you could uh, go to my website, soulpurposecrew.com, soulpurposecrew.com. Everything's there. Or just hit me on Instagram or Twitter. It's Mazi. I T S M A Z Z I N or Z Z I. And um, I'm real sociable, man. Talk to me. You need advice? You want to build? You can do joints. Whatever it is. Let's just talk, man. I'm there, all right? So there you have it, Manze. You've heard it from our guests. Manze, guest wetu wa Kwanza alikuwa 
Charlie Slam boy coming out a Kibera yani pande za line 7 huko chini guest wetu wa pili alikuwa Mr Benadi Benadi coming out a Rongai 125 in the house man and our third guest Manzeni a very important guest cuz not only is he an artist uh, he also works at Def Jam Records manze so act like you know manze make sure you subscribe to FBF on YouTube manze also follow us on social media nini nini at least to pate kujua kama uli hata the episode ama kama unaweza feel any yani next time you already know man. so right now let's jump into the bars let's see what we have yani let's see what the guest dropped yani FBF fresh bars friday don't move man keep it right there Yeah, it's FBF, Fresh Bars Friday. Africa. Niko na kapenga kwa kiberiti, the other half iko kwa brain, that's how you know to quality. So na represent free world na committee. Giri, giri, niko fiti, kama kawa. All bitches nearly shower now. Na bado wana taka gawa, please just allow me chase allowance. I just want the money and the power Nico always on the grass come a true grass hopper and I like to go brr come a brand new chopper I can roll one come a roller coaster go la vida loca na jaribu kuambia gava isingwa ini roster na nimetoka nane tisa alafu kumi wana tonia tuko mbali ma hate anaonesha vumbi na siezi jaribu act hata kama life is a movie rich co brain my time mu feel kaki ruby na missy mama yao missy baba yao sina mother out best with that doubt ni pate kwenye clouds bitch screaming out in a love for out hip hop me I'm all about lazima no akilishe washike ndo tushikishe zitushike zitushike but vitu zisipasuke istoshe watupishe kijana jitambulishe chalishe za chini utafanya chifa cha chishe <laughs> slam boy yeah let's up kama kawa fresh bars friday suna jua it's a fbf yeah. thing This is a common wealth country but wealth I want the common kill him safe for himself I start from the bottom Kijiji ni komor of your goes you wanna talk us all in town how could say for the kauna trust gone lazima wa complain ukileta complain and ile lazima kwa the rate to kisema you the best binadi amekuwa nadi toka chips we viazi bitu yote we go together gap and took in the sas na toka ile mtama boy uchafu wanga daily let's get it popping can you show ninja pay me cap and bend your party shady ni kutafuta za malezi kawe ni lazy i'm can spend your Oi, oi, me do the shit right here. <laughs> Nani likuwa ni mewambia, so hii wiki wani pende yungine wani chukie. To be sincere, I don't care, but apasa zangu zingie. Mekuwa nkiwa beba, tuka enzi za makarena. Hii arena kani wera, hii cheshi siya kutetema. Veteran, I might as well tell you who I'm better than Benadia kiwa area. Kawa ni wembe, mi ni leatherman. Na sera tunauza ni ajipange na mapema. Real life shit behind bars come and tell I'm the type of fellow to the middle man come at the juna jua don't you a manufacturer and a seller Yeah So which are you Manufacturer or seller It's fresh bars Friday Yo, whether we're vision or hearing, your steering's pivotal One pole rolls, I broke molds, no longer cyclical It's all G, on all three, this part three The Jedi has returned with mind tricking far C Coordinate to formulate till my energy culminates Motivate to correlate, these critics sit and overrate Gotta make my entrance every function so I'm sorta late Flood the market on every target, it's how we open gates I bring the ops, yeah I'm knocking on doors Why you running from the ops, cause they knocking down doors Push envelopes, delivery, no stale fumes Why you steady pushing envelopes In mail room stamp of approval sign seal to ship and shit is crucial hakalugi spit flame without the use of metal muse who introduce you to another chamber known as 37 where they slay fake teachers and preachers and dirty reverence i'm standing on my seven on my square stairs to heaven with my queen on the scenes between an eight and an eleven uh-huh. every show we close so fly and it shows keep your seats upright and trade table stole yeah yeah, yeah. ni fbf Fresh bars Friday, come a cow, come a dower Soon as you are here I should be out there with the greats, let me meditate I do this shit with so much grace, watch me levitate When I started rapping, I wasn't trying to dominate But reach the point, I'm saying fuck you if you underrate I bring the pain, you motherfuckers don't wanna play these games Stay in your lane, you don't wanna play chicken with a train I maintain, I'm the sickest rapper in this game You little lames trying to rap about guns again But you gon' run any time the lead start to rain My gang gang is niggas I'm out you grinding with This rap thing is the one thing I can be real with 
thought I was gone, but I'm something they have to deal with. I stay on. If you wanna get it on, just let me know. I'm like a crayon. Create simple pictures for simple niggas. Go figure. Nothing complicated, but bars is sophisticated. Them flows is coordinated. Attacks on the savage nigga will get you terminated. Celebrated, but grind like a nigga who never made it. Got a winner mindset, but I'm yet to be nominated. Dedicated, that's why it's shine never faded. You rap niggas should consult me how to really do this. Some of you got bars, but you act kinda foolish. Heads out, you're acting like I'm trying to be their favorite. I'm top five in KE, dead or alive. Survive the hard times, young Vigetti in his prime. So, what's a mumble rapper, the Kong, the jungle rapper? What's a strong trooper, the Chewbacca? Real niggas don't whine, they work and endure, endure. I do this for my generation and yours and yours. Keep grinding, make sure future go secure, secure. When I needed support, you wasn't there, so now it's kinda late. Niggas too jealous to acknowledge or appreciate. Motherfuckers, it's FBF, you already know. Omar and Guinea, sickest in the game.